The Mark Sanchez jokes are scaring away the children. <laughs> Fittingly so. I so how about that R. Kelly? No. <laughs> Yeah, man. You were talking about cheap people. You know the cheap, like, I'm Jewish, but I'm not cheap. You know the cheap Jews are? Like, the real Jewy Jews with the curly sideburns? You ever see them, like, in Highland Park? You know what those sideburns are called? They're called payas. Payas. Even their fucking sideburns want money. It's like, what, what are you doing? Payas. It's a pretty good pun. Here's another good pun. Uh, I think I really want to become friends with a child molester so that on Christmas I could buy them an eye touch. <laughs> that was stupid. Here, this is interesting. In Russia, they can't say uh, the word, like Donald Duck's nephews, Huey, Louie, Dewey. They can't say Huey because it's too close to the word Huey, which means dick. Which Americans don't care about, because duck is one letter away from dick, suck, and fuck, and we say that all the time. Also, if you rearrange the letters of the word sweetheart, it spells see her twat. I figured that out on myself, seriously. That one I figured out, I was very proud. Alright, coming up next is a gentleman, Saturday is actually his big debut. He's been practicing, he's only done comedy a handful of times, but this Saturday is going to be his first real big debut show at, right here at the Detour Zebra. But he's been working hard, only did it like four or five times. You're going you're gonna to love what you see for a rookie, and I'm proud to bring him up. Let's give it up for Joey Nix. Thank you. I expected a little bit more, but... Woo! Thank you! That's right. As you heard, my name is Joey Nix, and my big debut is Saturday here at the Zebra Lounge. But I received good news. After that, I will be going on tour. Woo! Thank you. Lipitor. <laughs> now, I actually want to share with you guys a little secret that not a lot of people know, only a couple, maybe a few. I'm fat. <laughs> and um, I actually went to the doctor last week and I got my blood pressure results back. And it came back as fuck over me. <laughs> uh, when I was at the doctor, it actually, the doctor told me that I'm never going to have kids. I was like, Doc, you got to be kidding me, man. I'm an impotent. He goes, Joe, let's be honest. Who the hell is going to fuck you? Aww. Aww. <laughs> Single ladies, feel free after the show. <laughs> But um, I'm loving getting in the comedy gig, everything like that. It's really fun. It's energetic. Um, and the other day, somebody was talking to me about a sad card. And, I, you know, I talk to comedians and I keep bringing this up. I have no idea what it is. You're going to get a sad card, man? Oh, it's the greatest thing in the world. You need to get a sad card. It's, oh, it's God's gift to comedians, to entertainers. I said, listen, I might get a sad card, but I appreciate it if we stop talking about my tits. <laughs> Have you ever noticed like how like the bigger you are, the softer people will talk about you? For instance, like when you're my size, people are like, look at that fat motherfucker over there. What a fat piece of shit. You add on 150 pounds for me, it turns into Oh my god. Did you see him? He's huge. There you go. 300 pounds from where I am, and what do you hear is all you hear is it. <laughs> um, and then I also, I go to the bar line, I like using like good pickup lines, and I'm going to give you guys, all you big guys out here, a very good pickup line. I tell people, oh, I'm on a diet. They go, oh, really? They go, it's not Atkins, it's not South Beach, none of that bullshit. It's lying. 
I tell them that I lost 150 pounds. Oh my God! You look amazing! Holy crap! Got more LBs in my money. No, I mean, but I also am a hundred percent Italian as well. Woo! Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> fellow Italianos. Um, I'm by law. I'm required to watch a Jersey Shore <laughs> for the only reason that I have to defend all the stupid shit they do every yeah. week. But I'm not gonna lie, I would fuck Snuggie. <laughs> At least I thought I would. A couple episodes, she had her period. Oh, uh. DTF no longer stands for down to fuck. It stands for douche, tampon, and fucking nasty. <laughs> They have the situation running around. Check out my six pack, bruh. Check out my six pack, yo. We got a situation, my six pack needs to touch it. Fuck the situation. Fuck his six pack, because baby, I got the whole keg right here. <laughs> As if it couldn't get any grosser. You have Ronnie. He had to go to the doctor to get his ass checked out. Apparently he was bleeding from his asshole. The rumors going around about steroids. And, I'm sorry, there were rumors going around about roids, and I was bitter for steroids. But apparently the problem was hemorrhoids. Actually, I served with uh, TGIF, too. And for those of you who don't know, TGIF stands for Thugs, Gangsters, Indians, and Freaks. That's <laughs> about all who goes there, pretty much. And uh, the other day, a woman came in complaining about her steak. There's not enough blood on my steak. Not enough. I need more. No problem. So I drop kicked her in the face. There's your blood, bitch. I'm just kidding. I didn't call her a bitch. I called her a cop. And uh, another good thing is like when the like, parents will come in and they order their kids food, it is absolutely ridiculous. Lady, relax. I'll get your kids chicken nuggets. I watch the news often, and I never see the headline, Kid dies, nugget neglection. <laughs> but uh, the best is when the nuggets actually do come out, and it's, it's kind of like uh, God just walked through the door. <laughs> The look on the kid's face is priceless. He's looking at her, you know exactly what she's saying, or what he's saying to her in his head. Listen. I had nuggets five times this week. <laughs> if I see one more nugget, I'm gonna shove it up your ass, bitch. I'm just kidding. He didn't call her a bitch. He called her a cunt. <laughs> Good night, folks. Central on premium.